love it when you hit it from behind Put that bend up in my spine With your hand around my throat, I love that stroke Every time you put it on me, got me going crazy Thinking maybe this could work, you can be my main squeeze You know I'm nasty and a freak, but you like that I ain't worried about a thing, you always coming back Your girl Marty Mars, and I'm here repping Kissimmee, Florida, and hey. the Zoes. You know hey. what I'm saying? So, shout out to my Zoes. So, y'all hey. can check me out on Stop socials. <laughs> no, hey. You can check me out on socials at the Official Mars with two Z's. Um, I'm an artist, I rap, I sing, I got music in Creole, Spanish, and English. So, well rounded. Fucking with me out here, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm a go. cultural baddie. <laughs> so, check me out, and I promise uh, you're gonna like dude. what you hear. Okay. Period. There you go. Period. That's a hell of an intro right there. Oh, it is. This is what? 156? 156. The No Hangover Podcast. Yep. Yes. We got a guest. That was a great introduction of yourself. <laughs> Honestly. <Dude. laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, so how's everyone doing? Good. Good? Oh, let me introduce my friend Samira. Oh, yeah. She's being shy. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of being a little bit shy. It's okay. But... <laughs> introduce yourself. Come closer to the mic. I'm Samira. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at Sam's G Spot. Um, hey, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just here supporting my friend because, um, oh, shit. you know. Hey, support is fire. key. For real, right support is key. How long have y'all been friends for? Jeez. 10 years? Since we graduated high school? A little bit before that, since yeah. we were in high school together. So, like, 11? Yeah. 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 Hey, that's what's well, up. Yeah. I'm sure y'all have been through some shit together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, so um, music, you're an artist. Um, I mean, I listen to some of your stuff. It is pretty like uh, well versed. You get you you don't have like a specific sound that you're sticking to. So like, um, what's your inspiration behind like you making music? Like your whole music making process. Um, it's really just the vibe, like the vibe that the beat brings me and how I'm feeling. And plus, I am multicultural. You know, yeah. I been to Haiti I've been to a lot of you know different countries Jamaica Haiti and I surround myself around different lot of cultures so I've absorbed them over the years so mm-hmm. and, you know a lot of the island stuff are pretty similar so at the end of the day like I just love everything so I just want to produce everything and be able to create songs for everyone to enjoy you know ultimately word word um are you like how much like uh, are you involved in your own music like how, like when you when you're making a song, like how many other people you got coming on to help you, or like you trying to do Nobody. most of it yourself? Literally everything is pretty much me. It's eighty to ninety percent me. Um, I record at home by myself, mm. you know, and sometimes I have friends with me, of course, you yeah. know, other producers or friends who just do music, and we're all learning, you know. So, um, I'm starting to build a team now and starting to you know work with more people so now be everything be more involved like i'll have an engineer where yeah. i don't have to record all the time so it doesn't take away from my process of mm. creating the music you know i'm still trying to learn everything so i know every aspect right, you right. feel me but um yeah so which is good i mean if you if you learn every aspect and you know every aspect you know how to not get fucked over basically, yeah, you know, basically. Yeah. you'll know you know what it is so like someone could try to shoot you or tell you some bullshit and you'll be like nah all right, yeah, I already I know, know how to do buddy. it, so you could do this part for me, but besides that, I don't need you for that. Yeah, buddy, I know. <laughs> that's good. For sure. Nice, nice. Well, that's what's up. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of the same thing here. We're going through that same process of, like, trying to, you know, do everything in-house. So, like, it definitely, especially in today's day and age, it helps that, you know, you have all these things available to you. You can go on YouTube and learn, so Heck it really yeah. cuts out that middleman, so... Mm. That um, somebody doesn't have time or anything. Real shit, and that cuts down the cost too. So more Heck money yeah. in your pocket. So I think we can all fucking <laughs> <laughs> get down with that. Expensive. Real shit. Real shit. Music videos are tired. You know, doing certain stuff. You know, it's it's a lot. So how long have you like you been really like kind of had like had first like really into it like? So I've been into music since I was like young. Mm-hmm. Um, I was just very shy. Like I've done a couple. Um talent shows and stuff and you know um but those were very nerve-wracking times for me and i was also in choir and they always wanted to like to sing solo but i was very chicken so i remember i would do a couple they'd be like come on you got it and to do it and i'd be like heck no i'm not fucking doing <laughs> yeah. that shit you know and then uh as i got older i had a lot of friends who were into music or the people who are surrounding myself with my boyfriend had the time whatever and it's just like they're like, bro, just come in the studio. Like, you're playing. And, but it'll be like either too much people or I just don't feel ready or like I'll be blocked. But I would have so much voice notes in my phone, like with bro. so many songs. You know, they're like, just get in the studio. Like, you got it. Mm. 
and then so I would say as of now that's been like four years so four years and I took a break when I was pregnant but four years and a half almost I would say that I've been consistently with it and stuff yeah, and just learning and actually growing with the process so, I mean yeah. plus I would, I would say that's probably like the most nerve-wracking part you know like actually full-on diving in like being willing to one perform i'm sure it's got to be mm-hmm. nerve-wracking because yeah. i mean we like we're all chilling you know this camera's on whatever mm-hmm. we you know we don't really cut out much we're straight from the hip with it but it's not like it's a live audience mm-hmm. so we don't have that pressure of like oh you can't say that or oh people staring you know, at you yeah. and yeah. All of that. expecting some yeah. shit like all right what yeah. are you gonna do now exactly. <laughs> which i mean like i mean everyone's different like for me personally like i'm not that scared well, I say that. I actually just made a best man speech about a month ago, two months ago. My, uh, my boy Brandon had the speech prepared. I've known him for fucking 20 plus years. So I wasn't I wasn't worried about the speech. Speech, easy as shit to write. Yeah. Wrote it all, whatever. Finally, my time to get up there. You know, we've had a couple of drinks, you know, throughout the day. Yeah, get up you. there. I'm like, <laughs> not, and I'm freaking cool, calm, collected the whole time. As soon as they passed me the microphone, I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> I, made, I made it through it. Like, I made it through it good, but like. If the people close, like, who were literally sitting, like, a table away, they could see, like, I was shaking. My head was, like, a little nervous there. I was like, ooh. I I feel like, I think I saw somewhere that, like, public speaking and shit like that is, like, a number one fear for a lot of people. Like, getting in front of people and talking or performing or whatever. I mean, especially, like, speeches is one thing, but, like, when you're going out there. performing, like. like, Exactly. That's something that you made that, you know, you put your heart and soul into it. So it's like. Exactly. Whatever the case may be. That definitely, I could see how that's a lot more nerve wracking than, you know, giving a speech and shit like that. But even still. I feel like it comes to you thinking, like, okay, what do people think about me? You know what I'm saying? So, or do they like it? But if you're confident in what you do, at the end of the day, it's like, okay, they're going to watch and enjoy me. If they don't, they don't. If they do, they do. You feel me? Yeah. And that's how I am to the point now where I am now. But I always get good feedback. You know, there's yeah. more stuff that I want to do to be more, you know what I'm saying? Like Beyonce on the stage. You feel me? <laughs> but everything comes with work in progress and also comes with building a team and everything. Because there's plenty of times where I try to build something. Sometimes it works for a little bit. But, you know, everybody has their own life and set things that they want to do. But I said, like, the right people who are meant to be in my team, like, we're going to be set in stone on what we want to do and you know get everything done because there's a lot of things that i want to do you know and just spice it up a little bit you know like really be professional out here with doing business and all of that so yeah yeah team a good team around you oh you know that will definitely help you elevate to the next level because we elevate together it's definitely a team process Mm -hmm. you know people a lot of people nowadays are always thinking like oh it's a solo thing a solo mission like oh this is my dream they they like love to forget like some people that make it love to forget how many people help them make it. Yeah. Exactly. So like it's not one person. Mm-hmm. And everybody has their dream that's gonna be in some way somehow yeah. helpful. Correct. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Every, like, I, like it's like engineer, roads stylist. Yeah. Like you know, that, it's like, everything. Manager, management, assistant, or whatever the case may be. Like everybody needs a place. You feel me? Yeah. So. They got their own goals and shit that they're yeah. trying to accomplish while yeah. helping you. So it's like you know, it kind of essentially it turns into like a you know a mutual thing. So you can know exactly. people that have the same goals or same area, you know, you guys work together, build a team and just go for it. You know what I'm saying? How you got to do it. I, sometimes I feel like it's like, I feel like it gets harder for people like to work with other people nowadays. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I do feel like since there is a lot of like creativity in the world now and shit like that, like a lot of people do get, it's a lot easier to get caught up in your own shit and like mm-hmm. kind of lose what the bigger picture of what you're trying to do is. So I feel like that's also hard too is, you know, finding the right people, you know, finding people yeah, that are like it is, it is. gonna work with you, you know, also understand like this is what I wanna do, but like how does how is what I wanna do and what I wanna accomplish gonna help myself and then the person that I'm working with too. Mm-hmm. But a lot of people get caught up in their own shit that it's like, you know, they yeah. say that they're gonna do it and then, you know, once you get in the process, you know, people's feelings start getting involved and all that shit. So You just gotta have the same goal in mind. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. 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 Really. And just know, you know what I'm saying? And it's just like with the type of person too, you know, obviously not everybody you can trust. Cause trust me, there's plenty of times where I had somebody, you know, we was like, okay, do management or something. And things just go sour. And at the end of the day, I said like, okay, it, these people are just not meant for me. And this yeah. time is just not for me right now. So when the time comes, when I'm supposed to have that team and it's meant to, you know, when things start really moving, when things are aligned correctly, yeah. then they come, you know? Right. So that's why I don't, I haven't even sweated, like no hard feelings with anybody, you know, there's some weird shit that happened with some people by the end of the day. Hey, that's, 
you know, I just separated myself from that. And whatever's meant for me, whatever God's going to bless me with is coming. You feel me? So I just yeah. got to align myself to receive that blessing. I feel like that's the best mindset to have as well. Like yeah. knowing, you know, it is what it is with some people, like mm -hmm. no hard feelings, but this didn't work out for us. Didn't work out for me. Didn't work out for you. You know, whatever the case may be, but we keep it moving. You know, you have no hard feelings towards them. You have a goal to reach. So it's like. Exactly. I ain't got time for that. I have a kid and uh, yeah, I'm trying to build life and generational wealth. How does that like, like influence your music or impact like that part of your career that you're trying to do having a kid? Honestly. So it motivated me because. Even before I had some type of motivation, but this time I just feel like I'm hungrier for it. Like yeah. it's like, okay, stop playing games because you know you got what it takes and you have the talent. So whatever that needs to be done, you know, we're going to get there and be consistent. But at the, also at the same time, sometimes it makes it harder because you have to be away from your kid or, you yeah, know, right. you got to do certain, you have to sacrifice certain things for the bigger picture, you know. And at the end of the day, you know, it's just always pros and cons to everything, but he motivates me to really go harder because it's not just me, it's me and him, yeah. you know? So, yeah. What is your bigger picture? Like, what are you, what is the, the end goal for? I want to be able to live my life over, you know, with the things I love to do with music, art, and, you know what I'm saying, cooking. I want to be able to have those multiple streams of income, live comfortably, travel, take my son to travel with me, you know, have him see the world, you know? Just live an ultimately peaceful, you know, life, like, nothing even about materialistic like i really just want to travel the world you know yeah. see the world and be able to just live and not have to work a 40 hour week 80 hour week oh, for some people who don't even care about me you know what i'm saying right i want to be able to spend time with my son watch him grow be into the things that he likes he likes to be into so that's the plan that's the goal because you know i want him i want to be there you know what i'm saying yeah. 100%. i mean and that's a beautiful thing because like you said i mean you not working 40 hours 80 hours for someone who I mean, heaven forbid you, you know, you died, mm -hmm. they just move on straight from you. So Literally. it's you putting your heart and passion into, you know, your own goals and your own art, basically. Mm -hmm. um, I, you know, I commend you for that because shit, you. that's what that's what, you know, our end goal with the podcast is that one day we could be doing Real a podcast <laughs> on our fucking trip somewhere like yeah. we're traveling and then hey, bring, it on the road. bring some equipment yeah. boom we're we're recording we're getting paid for it yeah. you know everyone's Everybody having a good like, time hey, be on it. you know yeah. what I'm saying They're like hey I want to be a no hangover podcast like, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah you know what I'm saying they buy your tickets you get it all you know yeah. <laughs> but you know, uh, yo, loud ass notifications. She, she hates my ringtone. That's that Android yeah. shit. Yeah, <laughs> can't be having that right now. Damn, so. coming for your life. No, nah, but I mean, yeah, I mean, it's it's a lot easier to do these things now, though. Like, I, I mean, I was just saying that it's hard to find people, but it's a lot easier yep. to start, you know, start pursuing your own dreams and start, you know. I, I kind of want to break away from that nine to five type shit and Thank you. start doing what I want to do and make at least some money off of it. Like at least Thank try you. it and give it a go. So mm -hmm. you just got to sacrifice those first years, you know, to put that shit. money into it and do yeah. shit. It'd be hard. It'd be like, damn, like I got to spend, I got to do this. And it's just like, you know, I may not be, be making as much as I want to make right now yeah. or making a little bit or sometimes you make none, you know, and it's just like, fuck, but it's you're like, okay. losing money. You're right. Yeah. It's just like, I love, this is what I love to do. And we don't know at the end that. of the day, that's just. What does it have to do, you no, know? I mean, sometimes, like, no, like, like if you're running a business or you're trying to start something, like, mm -hmm. you know, initially, you might be, it might be, you know, going in the negative with your money. You, mm -hmm. you put in a, more money than you're getting out of it. So, I mean, that's, but it's part of the fucking Always hustle. a sacrifice. Part of the fucking grind. Mm -hmm. But. But, yeah, that's, that's one of the things, like, about it that you're kind of betting on yourself. Yeah. So, you don't necessarily know how it's going to go. Mm -hmm. You just know. But you believe and be consistent. And everything, you shall receive that blessing that you want. And that's on period. Yeah, for sure. For real. <laughs> that's how I feel. So you got any... Uh, got any upcoming projects? You, I, you took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> we're there. Ready? So we're there. for projects, um, I am working on one. Can you pass, us, can you pass me the cranberry juice? Yeah. I am working on one. You're good. Um, don't know when the release date is. Don't know what I'm calling it. I've had some names in the vault, but I just I just don't know yet, you know. You're waiting for that uh, one that you, like, feel to yeah, stick. Yeah, and just, you know, pretty I'm much sure. getting everything together. I want to drop the album when I'm a little bit more, you know, more engaged. I feel like I'm doing my, my step out right now, yeah. like, coming out again, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So I want to drop it where at the right time. Like, right now yeah. I feel like it's not the right time, but I'm getting prepared for it. So, 
you know, anything could happen, so I could have it ready. But I do have a song coming out. It's called What Would You Do for the Dick? Um, <laughs> it's like, what would you do for yes, the what would you do shit? for the dick? <laughs> it's that summertime <laughs> shit, you know what I'm saying? All the bitches are gonna love it, you know? Uh, I'm gonna, I'm planning to drop the video, um, Haitian Flag Day, which is May 18th. So um, this month. I feel like your bedroom boom is like one that a bunch of girls would like. Yes, yeah, they do. Got that I, li- we listened, I listened to a couple of songs today, so like, hey. I know all the titles and everything. I was like, all right. <laughs> Period. A lot, a lot of people love bedroom boom. Like, I got booked out in Tampa to go perform, and they loved it. People actually sing my song. I said, yeah. okay, that shit is I'm lit. sure that, that's got to be a freaking yeah, crazy me. feeling. Trust me. I've been getting a lot of love lately, you know, and stuff like that, so... It's, it feels good, you know, to, like, see your hard work, you know, starting Start to paying off. paying off and stuff like that and getting recognition. So I'm just trying to work towards it and just be consistent and work with the right people for myself. You know, everything has pretty much just been aligning. So I'm just, you know, praying to keep going forward and up, yeah. you know. So, yeah. I also saw you had, like, a reggaeton song. How did mm-hmm. that come about? With the pati. <laughs> um, I did that song with my homie, El Pocho. It was actually a friend that I was with in uh, high school. Uh-huh. And his name is Alvin. And we was out in D- I was in DR. My mom has a house out there, you know, so I'm oh, always shit, there. So uh, he was like, yo, I'm out here. He was like, I'm, I'm in. I'm, I'm somewhere else. He was, I forgot, Negri, somewhere around there. And I was like, okay. Then I checked. It was like three hours. He said, bro, just come. You feel me? So I was like, shit, <laughs> I'm going to come. That's three hours. Fuck you it. know, I was in Santiago. In Santiago, you know, it's cool and stuff. But my cousins were boring. They're like, <laughs> so I'm about to go with my friends. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What did that part out? Your cousins, you know. Yeah. I'm like, I'm sorry, y'all, but I, I'm deuces. You feel me? <laughs> so I left. And then my mom was like, no, because she was worried about me going, taking the buses and stuff. I'm like, I got this, mom. Don't worry. I know how to speak <laughs> Take Spanish. Care of you know, I'm good. <laughs> Nobody's going to buck me. You know, but I went to the buses and we linked up. And we just had fun. We we're going to the beaches, riding motorcycles and stuff. And they were like, yo, you know, my homegirl's just an artist. He said, you know, telling his homies and shit and his cousins. So we just went to the studio. And then we had some shit. They were like, okay. Literally, we was in a hot-ass closet recording. It was so <laughs> fucking hot. Like, when I tell you, I was like, oh, my gosh. This is real, some real start from real the bottom shit. shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> start from the bottom shit. I was like, bro. But, you know, then we end up going to um, another studio, which is in Santiago, which is the capital, which is about two hours, three hours away. Mm-hmm. So we ended up booking a session with La Nota. And he did a song with El Titaron, some some guy, I forgot his name. I believe that's it, but I'm not 100% yeah. sure. But he was nope. pretty popping, you know? So we went. A Puerto Rican artist or Dominican artist? He was Dominican. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, um. Don't say it. He's like El Cadron. I'll be like, <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> like, Wait a yeah. minute. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll have to look for him. I'll have to look at my probably show you guys later, whatever. But, um, but yeah, so we went to the studio. It was dope. He had a very good quality. You know, we was in there, you know, they was helping me get right, you know, in the studio. And it's just like, we just made a hit. You feel yeah. me? We just made a banger. Like, no, that shit was. You know what I'm saying? There was, it was, it just happened. And, you know, when my homie Apocho, like, he did his thing for sure. I did my thing. And it just, he ended up moving to Spain. And I ended up leaving. Like, we were supposed to do a video and everything. But stuff didn't just work out. Yeah. But I really fuck with that song. No, that know? song is hard. I was going to ask both of you on the side. I'm going to ask you first. Don't get me started. What's, what's your, what's your <laughs> favorite you song? Like my body. What's my first what? What's your favorite song of hers? Uh, my favorite song. Pretend she's not here, you know. You, like, <laughs> uh, she. She? Yeah. What's your favorite song? Okay. Yeah, it's a song um, I have on SoundCloud. It's one of my older ones. Yeah, I'm kind of like, I wouldn't say, well, maybe I am her number one fan, but I know yeah. her old songs. Yeah. I mean, so yeah, you've been there the whole process. So I, you, yeah. So most of my favorite songs are her old songs. If I would say there were any new songs, I would probably say um, no pressure. It's all right. <laughs> um, I mean, this one's a collab one, but I don't know. I love her voice and his voice together. The collab that she does with Beach is just like bomb. All their Shout collabs. Out to beach. Two AM. I love that song. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's a whole bunch of unreleased um, songs that she's really talking about. That she's yeah. heard. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not say, you got yeah. some hey. songs. Hey. Like, I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, right. A whole bunch yeah. of unreleased songs. So I have a lot of a lot of shit in the vault. Yeah. I really do. I really do. So. So you be in the studio just fucking pumping them out, just. Yeah, literally. Like yeah. sometimes it'd be days I'm just home and I'll just yeah. record or. You know, I go to the studio with my friends. And sometimes I don't even expect it. You know, I just go to the studio and be like, shit, let's go to the studio and yeah. just record shit. And it's literally, a lot of them are just freestyles. Off the top? Literally, yeah. We just go in there and just 
whatever it makes us feel, hey, okay, you like this story? If it's with somebody else, then that's how we're going to go about it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then we just tighten it up, you know, to fix the structure of the song. Or sometimes we leave it like that to be just like a freestyle song. I made a freestyle once. Yeah. <laughs> don't want to talk yeah. about it. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it, but uh, I did once. Oh, my, shit. my boy called me random and shit. Like, two in the morning was like, hey, I'm going to the studio. I'm picking you up. I'm like, for what? <laughs> He's like, no, nah, you got to ride with me. I've never rapped in my life. I'm like, what are you talking about? I got to go with you. Fix me up. I ended up being on the song, but it's fucking hilarious. Every time I hear it, I'm like, I cringe. I'm like, oh, God. Let me hear some. Oh, I can't. Ah. Nah, fuck that. You have it, too? I ain't That's a rapper. Funny. He just sent it to me like a week ago. <laughs> I died laughing. I got to hear Bro, that. Do it. For sure. Do it. Do nah, I'm not it. playing no that shit here. Exclusive. Uh-uh. Fuck right, that. Right, right. Oh, shit was funny, though. Shit. What's your favorite song of your own? Hmm. It's hard because... Because I'm sure every song, you know, has a different part of you, but like... Yeah. So, every song that after I finish make it, I love it, and then I hate it because I listen to it so you, fucking yeah. much. You gotta over-listen to but, it, But... Hmm. If one's hard, you can give me like a top that's, three, no order. That's really hard, though, but... All right, top but, three, no order. So that way you don't have but, to put one as your favorite. But, no, I would say my song that I do like, that I was really liking, that I recently made was called it's all right because it's like a vulnerable song but it's also an uplifting song you know what i'm saying and i felt like a lot of people could use it and at the moment i made the song because i needed it in a way you know so it's mm. kind of like i made the song that i needed right. but i know that other something. people need it you know so yeah you used your art to not only help yourself but help others yeah just, just kind of being pretty transparent without saying too much but you know what i mean i mean that's the thing <laughs> we do that the all the time yeah. <laughs> that's the thing about like music though is that you can say a lot without not saying much yeah, at all and like exactly. you know you kind of get the point across and shit like that mm-hmm. so it's always the like specific person should know i mean we we've done this on <laughs> multiple episodes where like we've talked about some deep shit mm-hmm. and it's like no one would know what the fuck we're talking about because we're talking in code basically yeah. but it's like in reality we're talking straight to that person and if they listen they would know some people yeah like but a lot of my music will have people confused sometimes because sometimes Cause they think they're talking about somebody. See, that's yes. another thing nope. that happens. I've had, <laughs> that's I've another had thing that happens. This is a song and just you see like a look on their face or whatever, like you know, if the shoe fits, fucking wear it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. At the end of the day, and sometimes I wonder if they think it's about them, you know. But sometimes it'll be multiple situations or a situation that's not even about me. Yeah. You know, right, I right. could see somebody dealing with a situation or you see sit around just like in TV and stuff, you know, yeah. and you just think about it and maybe you have to, maybe I can't finish it and I'll think of like another situation and just add those scenes that I've seen or whatever the case may be, you know? Yeah, you could always go back to it later. Like, yeah. like you said, it might be something that was for this situation. This situation thinks it yeah. is. It's like, and then this one situation, you're like, like, the same similar thing. I'm like, oh yeah. And then yeah. add it. So, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely happened, you know, on No Hangover for sure. I mean, yeah. we've talked about some things I where the, oh my gosh, if, the, talking about me? if the shoe fits, you know, it was <laughs> no, I mean, for there's you definitely then. been a few people that have gotten mad and like we heard you know, about what, it. You tell them, Suck my dick. <laughs> it's like, oh, well, bitch. And then maybe you know, they funny. did, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> maybe they did. You know, it's funny. I feel like that, uh, like when people say that in general, like suck my dick. I feel like more females say that than most definitely males. <laughs> Cause suck my imaginary dick. Yeah, because like yeah, if a girl says it's like yeah, it's like uh, it's just well, like obviously ins- you don't have a dick. It's like so an like, insult. Yeah, when a guy says it's like yeah, you <laughs> actually got a dick, so like we like what the fuck? Like, we get called for sexual respect. harassment. You gotta be careful. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be careful out here. For real. Can't be out here saying like suck my dick. Literally suck my plastic dick. But yeah, I don't really care. You know, I just be like hey. I don't give a fuck, you know. I really just start. I feel like as you get older, you more not give a fuck. Facts. Mm-hmm. You think so, but I mean, some people get some people you know, get like real sensitive, like sensitive or like real like butthurt like about much, little things. They start like, becoming like they start like they're older now, so like I know shit and like yeah, they start no, getting all fucking. Is people who learning shit. life? Come on, Same. yeah. Oh man, but I tell you tell all the time, like even with my you know my mom and older people, I just like okay, listen, we're not in the nineteen eighties. No more, you know. You yeah. don't know everything, and you don't know what's best, yeah. you know, right now. Because first of all, if you're not so into the life or understand a lot of things, you you don't know what's best. You don't. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, shit. Even us, like I, we're in the life. Exactly. We're, we're learning something new every day. <laughs> we're still trying to it's figure like, out, keep up with this technology shit. You yeah, know what I'm saying? like we grew up through it, but like shit, I'm still, you know, trying I'm behind on some. I mean, for instance, we. T- for those of you that don't know, we took a good fifteen minutes trying to set this bitch up. <laughs> like we do this every, we've been in, we've done no hangover for over four years now. 
It's like it still takes some time. Sometimes, sometimes it's, it's okay. technical it's difficulties and shit. Like, like damn. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. one of those things. You gotta, yeah, it's staying with the times, but it's also like, all right, new shit comes about. We gotta learn new shit. We gotta. Mm-hmm. You know, but imagine adapt. like they're old, so like we're ha- we're struggling with this shit as it happening. Like this is all like fucking. They don't oh, know yeah, what yeah, the yeah. fuck's going on. Exactly. It's like fucking uh, overload for their fucking audio brains. This this application, <laughs> you gotta download this. This is how you do. I was like, fuck. Looking at their phones like. The glasses. Nah, I mean, can shit. you do this? Can you do that? No, you need to learn it. That's what you need to do. I'm nah, tired of doing shit. That's you, how you taught me. You, you can't even mention exactly. it. Like, you fucking stupid. What are you? <laughs> no, I didn't know. Not for nothing, my dad is 71, but he is more in tune with technology than all of us. Oh, yeah. My dad sent my dad too. The oldest, the, the newest gadget, yeah. the newest whatever. He nah, has. My dad's yeah, the polar opposite. Yeah. My dad, you say email. He's like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Uh, he knows what it is, but he's like, someone's got to check yeah, his emails yeah, for him. Yeah. Like, he don't do that. He's never sent an email. Besides, like, if it's off his phone, because he just looks at it as like a text. I'm like, it's the same fucking concept. Yeah. Just get on, on the, the computer. computer. Yeah. <laughs> and, it, and it's baffling to him. He's like, no, 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 I can't do that. I'm like, yes, you yeah. can. It's like my mom is not what my dad is. My dad, he's very self-sufficient in technology. Plus, he makes, he records music. Oh, for he, real. Was in a band, he was in a band. He plays drums, guitar. Oh, that. shit. So, yeah. so I mean, I guess that makes sense where you got. Yeah. Your, yeah. Now, now we found out where your, mu- your music <laughs> yeah. talent. My mom's a dancer from. too. She used to dance all different types. Of well, there's your Beyonce. That's that's, that's dance. why you wanted to yeah. pe- perform like Beyonce. Yeah. 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 Uh-huh. A whole package. You got the you got the artist. You got the. You playing? And I got the looks. Um, I used to play piano. Um, I'm rusty now, but I'm gonna get back into it. And I started to learn how to play guitar, but my guitar got stolen a couple of, when I was like in middle school, and I never tried uh, again. <laughs> There's some recent, like, but, I know no, middle school. No, no, no. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna try again. You know, I want to get back into it. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna be out here like Alicia Keys and Summer Walker. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Nice. <laughs> yeah, they're doing pretty good for themselves. So shit, yeah. <laughs> that's a good model to follow. Heck yeah. <laughs> oh, Making shit. that money. I mean, plus, I'm pretty sure they only sing in one language. So. Yeah, I sing in three. Boom. Boom. Step ahead. So, <laughs> boom. You already got that on them. <laughs> boom. <laughs> they are pretty good with the keys though. So you know, you learn you tighten them up again and boom, you're good to go. She you But yeah. Oh shit! And my son's into that too, so hey, he might be playing the piano for me. There you, there you go. go. Get him in uh, yeah. piano lessons early. Get him in the studio, I said, hey. sorry. I mean, and that's he when he's already can... in the studio with me. Oh, you know, at home. Young maestro, yeah. right there. Ever since when he you... was little, Beethoven. Especially when you get him, like you know, when you play live instruments in the in the studio and get him on your song, that shit just sounds like so much more better than mm-hmm. like if you're doing so like, much more better. But just that much. Instead better. of actually <laughs> getting like a beat made with artificial yeah. drums, I'm just like checking you sometimes, you know. Yeah. Uh, shit, it's only bro. funny when I check him on like some spelling or grammar shit because like he sucks at spelling. I cannot fuck. <laughs> like it's amazing that I can read honestly. Like everybody always complains about like my text, like when I send texts. Uh, yeah. Sometimes I don't give a fuck. I just be typing away. Me, well, See, fuck. Man. I mean, you were texting me a couple times. I'm like. Yeah. What? Everybody. Like I was, I was confused this time. Like you're talking about me right now to me. Oh <laughs> yeah, bro. Because I got confused with you because somebody else was trying to do like a drop the mic thing where you know you sing where they yeah. have the mic, you know. So I thought it was that person who texted me, but then but then my phone has been tripping. Like it was doing weird. It was just, I figured, it was just a I problem. Figured, not saving I looked numbers. at it for yeah, a second. Yeah, yeah, it's I just happened save to numbers. everybody. It's yes. happened to everybody. Yes, it's to the best. Of I need shit. to save numbers. Like, for worse situations. When I was coming here, <laughs> I was saying. like, dang, because I'm picking up my friend, so I was running late, and I was trying. Then you texted me. I said, oh shit, I didn't text him oh well, yeah i was like yeah, yeah. 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 i said whichever no, one i don't one know one of us hey, you're talking it's one of them fuckers <laughs> <laughs> i'll show up don't worry uh, good. i'm Look. coming though I'm coming. hey you're right you're here so just so i but, so i mean in your music i know you talk about like not necessarily relationship stuff but you be talking about fucking a lot so like What's like, <laughs> how do you like jumping into a question that actually he brought up the other like recently? It's like, how do you feel about like, do you believe in like monogamous relationships? Like, is that a thing that you feel like is natural? Or is that something that's more kind of like brought up like in society type shit? Um, I feel like people could be monogamous if they want, you know, and there's people who are just not who, who just don't like that. You feel me? I feel like there's different type of people. And honestly, I everybody could do whatever. But me. I want to be monogamous. I'm not trying to deal with no extra somebody because no, it's just it's just not for me. You know, I want to be with one person, be happy, not having to deal with some mood swings from another woman or whatever the case may be. <laughs> I'm good, like no. But 
I feel like that's you know some cultures are that way, and some cultures had many wives. Some cultures yeah. had one. You feel me? So I feel that's like, why there's both. I feel like this culture is starting to like is kind of pivoting in that direction. Yeah, that's, everybody's like, trying to be you know hoish. They want things. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's it's really one way to put it. <laughs> that's one way Community to put it. Community dick. <laughs> Community dick. Yes. Oh, I've never shit. heard that term in my Literally, life. Literally, because oh, it's like everybody shit. wants to, they want to have their cake and eat it too. That's what it seems yeah. like. They want to have a sneaky link or, mm-hmm. you know, you have a dude with a baby mama. Then it's just like, oh, I don't fuck with baby mama, but then want you. And then dealing with this person and have another girl. If this person don't want to fuck with you or, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've seen stuff. I have guy friends, you know. I be like, damn, nigga, like, you a hoe. Like, <laughs> for real. Like, I tell my friends, I don't give a fuck, but I don't have a lot of hoe friends, like male friends, so... But I do have a couple, and you know I see how they move. And I also I'm not gonna say only guys because there's female hoes out oh, yeah, there too oh, yeah. that would be crazy. Sure. I just be like, <laughs> yeah, you scare all too me. Well. You know all too well. You <laughs> scare me. You know what I'm saying? But everybody, you What's know, like? everybody can do their yeah. thing. I don't really judge, you know. But this is some shit that I just won't do or condone, yeah, like from my you. partner yeah. or whatever, you know. Right. But hey, do what you do. I whatever. feel like monogamy. I feel like monogamy is a choice. Yeah. Because I mean, even like like you said, like people can you know have those times like mm-hmm. some people not everybody but most people go through a little stage or whatever mm-hmm. but at the end of the day it's a choice like mm-hmm. if you want to commit to somebody and be all in with that person and like y'all agree you know you have to have a serious conversation mm-hmm. with that person like y'all have to agree on multiple you know values you know how you want to raise your kid like a bunch yeah. of shit but yeah. if you could commit to that person then it's like monogamy isn't hard at that point mm-hmm. y'all already have an understanding of this is what we both want mm-hmm. versus like I feel it's harder when one person isn't, you know, feeling that monogamy is natural yeah. or like wants to be with multiple people. And then one is like straight for it. Like, no, yeah. you're my only one. And it's like you can't do that. And they try to manipulate people into doing that. Well, like, I mean, oh, yeah, I don't good. I don't think monogamy is natural. I think it that like to you, I think it's a choice. Mm-hmm. You got to work for it. But I don't think it's a natural thing. I don't think naturally people are like meant to be with one person. Yeah. I think that like well, in love saying. thing and like that is like a feeling and like you get that with a certain somebody and like you can have a stronger connection with somebody than you do with someone else but hey that person over there is still kind of fine like mm-hmm. <laughs> like so it's kind of it's fighting sure that, it's, fi- it's fighting those urges and shit like that but I feel yeah. like you know it's like no <laughs> but I feel like once you become mature enough or if you know what you want or if you really feel like that person is like you're, you know your twin flame like, yeah. like there's nobody in this world who understands me as much as you do like you know what I'm saying and even those people they can still have fun here and there maybe you know have a little threesome or whatever the case maybe they hey, want to do you know to spice that. it up here and there you know yeah. and I don't see nothing wrong with that you but know some but some people aren't even into that though yeah, yeah. they want it like full on like, like strictly yeah you, yeah. you are mine I'm yours yeah, that's yeah. it which I understand exactly. you know but sometimes some people still want to spice up to you know because after you've been together for a long time right, right. you need sometimes. to change yeah. stuff up that's why people start doing ain't know a whole bunch of crazy <laughs> shit you know but you know and then start doing some weird shit because they be having they all type of weird shit. sex things I be like, you read the play and shit like bro y'all must have been really <laughs> bored to be doing all that shit so I mean but, hey. all the fucking sex stores and shit like that like the mega fucking there's one on OBT mm-hmm. there's one right there they're like all fucking in that yeah, area but yeah. like it's it's true though like shit gets boring like even with like friendships even yeah. like relationships with your, like your your family and stuff that shit like sometimes you don't want to be around them mm-hmm. but it you need to know boring, as a person like, too like listen like hey I don't want to I don't want to be in a boring relationship I want to have fun and I I don't even telling like these guys would be trying to talk to me like oh the guys be saying, I'm surprised you're single yeah because I don't feel like none of these things are worthy you they talk all this big shit but don't do nothing. I want to travel. I want to have fun in life. Like, y'all are boring. Y'all don't even got a passport to even travel. Like, you know. Some yeah, people without or, a passport. Is cool. Like, you never even been out the country. You want to fucking Miami to death. Like, no, I don't want to do that. I want a man who wants to do different <laughs> shit. Like, let's go fucking jump out of a plane. Like, I want to do shit like that's that. Just have, you ever, have you ever been skydiving? No, I that's haven't. That's just fun and as fuck. Yeah. I didn't even parasail. Well, we, we, uh, we went for my birthday, actually. Yeah. What was Me, it, like three years ago now? Uh, damn near. Yeah, it's about yeah, to be three years. Yeah, I want to go. I want to do it. That shit is exhilarating. That's like some fucking, like, <laughs> for real. Like, Pretty much. It's like, you know how in the movies, like, it, like, kind of goes, like, super fucking white and then mm-hmm. everything. Like, it's exactly like that. Yeah. And then by the time you realize they're falling out of a plane, like, you just you're like, ready to oh, fuck. Then like, the person in pulls in and you yank the shit, shit back. Shit. Like, oh. <laughs> oh, shit. We're no, but that shit, yeah, it's, it's definitely fun. fun. Yeah. yeah. I, I bet it looks so fun. How, how many, do you travel a lot? Yeah. How many places have you been to? Uh-huh. What's your favorite place that you've been to? Um, I've been to Jamaica, to Haiti, mm-hmm. to Dominican Republic, Mexico, and like states like Atlanta, Texas, yeah. New York, and shit. But Mexico was okay. Like I really like the excursions, like the water stuff, yeah. the nature stuff. But everything else, 
I didn't really like. Were you in more of the tourist part of it, Mexico yeah, though, or I like? I was in Cancun, yeah. Okay. That's what I was more of like kinda, touristy. Yeah, but all the places we went was in Tulum and all those extra, like in yeah, the yeah, hole, yeah. you know. So the I loved like that, that yeah. you know. But the food everywhere, we went, I just I was just tired of tacos and all these. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. I, I can't hold shit. you. Yeah, I was just like, oh yeah, I know. But uh, um, like, Jamaica, I only went for like three days, two days, mm. and I liked it. It was fun, and I want to go back again to spend some time, but. You know, I'm trying to go on a vacation out there. You feel me? Go do that. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, the Caribbean definitely has got like, I feel like the Caribbean is always going to have one up on everybody else because just the amount of spices, the amount of like different food and different culture that's, you know, in it. Mm-hmm. Caribbean Ooh, food is always good. Jamaica be. and Jamaica is good. <laughs> yes. It's the truth. That, that Jamaican chicken over there and them patties. Yeah, oh, Jama- my hey, Beef patties, that's my gosh. shit. Fuck. I love them, the bitches. ones out there. I said yeah, no, the that's fucking, fucking original. You can't get more like fucking. The, uh, the jerk spot, and then like the, there's this other Jamaican spot that both close. I'm like, damn, they Where? broke my heart. Like, yeah, they have the grill. I know that's open. They have, they like, have like a few of those. Right? That's like kind of like a chain a little bit, right? I think so. They have like yeah. two or three. Because I know yeah. there's one over in Kirkman, like by that Walmart on Kirkman. Yeah, and there's one, one on like the times. west side by like Pine Hills area. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to travel. There was one literally right around the corner, but it closed, and I'm like, damn, broke my heart. Yeah, man. Can't get no beef patty anymore. That local shit. Uh, yeah, tra- traveling is definitely. Yeah, I, mean, I want to travel. I want a man who want to travel and have fun, and who likes to dress nice and has good smelling breath. Hmm. <laughs> so what's what's your red flags? What's what's something that you're like? Nope, that's a like. You might be cool and all that, but that's a deal your breath breaker. stink and your teeth <laughs> ugly. I'm sorry. Because no. <laughs> Yeah, like I'm not dealing with that. That's, that's very important. I don't want to talk to you. I'm like, fuck. Like, I'm not gonna want to kiss you. I don't want to be next to you. I'm not gonna want to cuddle. I and mean, if you got bad bo, yeah, like, yeah, that shit is a fuck. It's just repulsive. Like, if someone smells bad, it's just yeah, like, they're like, hey, can you back the fuck up. Bro? Yeah. It's just like, what are you doing, like, bro? Like, yeah, relax. Fucking like, take a shower. Take a yeah. shower. <laughs> Put some deodorant on something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's funny. That's, funny. that's, that's a smells- big thing. Like this part of the area, yeah, it's a big thing to me. Yeah. Makes sense. Bad smelling people are fucking. I mean, that's why it's called the money maker, you know? Yeah. If your face don't look good, your mouth don't look good. Or smell good. Exactly. People are going to be like, oh. Relax. Well, I feel like you could get over, like, being ugly more than you can having bad breath. If you have yeah. bad breath, like, if you're ugly and you got a good you personality, good yeah, you, look, you, know you can dress saying? that shit I up. Guess. Like, if you, if you and have a good personality, yeah. Like, if you're a good looking woman, good looking guy, and, like, everything's to the nines and you have stinky breath that's just like oh my god like yeah. that's your, the one brush thing your like, fucking the teeth. one yeah. thing like everything I'll else throw is a mint in someone's like, mouth I'll be like breath. I'll be like <laughs> throw a mint at them like uh uh-uh. uh oh, cause I'm pretty shit. sure you probably seen a girl somewhere you be like she kinda ugly but damn she cool yeah, you know what personality so goes good, a long you know? fucking way personality goes a long fucking like, way that yeah. shit, like, there would be people that are kind of like... hygiene and all that real shit like people could be kind of like I don't know girls gotta have a nice face card for me to even but uh-huh. even but even still like if you find a girl that's like maybe Face, like body you know it's one or the other honestly but, like, but <laughs> she's gotta have something like quality but if because they're like, if they're it's like, always <laughs> always looks attract and then personality keeps yeah. like I I mean I explained this to my girlfriend like I was like <laughs> I was like it's always you know I went for you originally because you I thought you were beautiful mm-hmm. what kept me here is because your personality is fucking fire like yeah. I, you know and then how we've grown to you know know each other and now I love her and shit it's like. Yeah. I didn't know all this until the attraction. Yeah. This it's is attraction This is first. fucking maturation right in front of our eyes, too. Yeah. Like, I love this girl. That's something that I thought Aww. I might never hear. So sweet. <laughs> See, when you find your match, yeah. yeah. Very nice, very nice. Aww. No, that's awesome, oh, though. I love to see people in love, you know? It is a beautiful thing. When it's real, it's a fucking beautiful thing. But the thing is, a lot of people, like, fake it. And like want to be in love and aren't really and are trying to force that shit. And Nowadays. It's like, yeah, yeah, it's like, if you're not, that's fine. Just... Go like, find it somewhere else. Don't, like, don't go stick around here shit. because we've been we've been together for a long time. Real you know? shit. Real shit. That's, that's the worst when it's like people stay together because like it's it's spent. easy or like oh like I don't know been if I can. Together, or maybe we could try people, to make it work it's, again. It's more like people who yeah. think they're gonna, people who are scared of being lonely. Mm-hmm. That's the worst because it's like over. yeah, their their, their fear is more of like oh I'm never gonna find someone else so I'll just settle for this. If you're like, I had a problem with my cousin for instance. My cousin used to say that like. Oh, you know, I'm settling down. I always had a pro- issue with just the term mm-hmm. settling down mm-hmm. or like, oh, you know, yeah, I settled or whatever. Because that just sounds terrible to me. I'm like, what yeah. do you mean you settled? Like, 
I'm never trying to settle in my life. What the fuck? I'm trying to elevate my life. Like yeah. I'm, I'm not gonna be like, oh no, this is where I'm stuck. I'm yeah. staying here. Like that just sounds terrible to but, me. But I mean, yeah, to like, the word it, is wrong, yeah. it, it like it does. Like I get what you're saying. Like it has like a negative like connotation it just, yeah, to it. Just it made, but like it in a sense, like, like a sour taste in my if mouth. You, like, if you're with like, one oh. person, that's the person that you're settling with. Like in that I understand sense, that. Like, that it like, sounds, it sounds like bad. Like it sounds yeah. like. Oh, like I could have done better, but like uh, this is what I'm That's sticking just, with. I feel yeah, like it's just the word. Just it was just the word. It was just the wordage, like settling down, like oh, I'm calm down now, or like yeah. shit like that. I was I, like, it's, it's, I was like, it's what just are you like what they about? say, like when you say good morning and grand rising, or you know what I'm saying. Instead of saying good morning, like you're not morning when you're grand, when you're grand, getting up in the morning, you're grand rising. You're rising who the fuck up. says grand? I've never heard someone really? say grand, I grand I rising. Said grand rising. Grand rising. I've never heard that. You know what I'm saying? You got there's put certain on. words that you put into Boom. the air, like, you know? New yeah. shit. Well, I mean, like, I mean, Brain to your rising. point, there's just certain things that have, like, just a negative, like, connotation to oh. it. Like, settling down has, like, there's nothing wrong with it. It just mm-hmm. sounds bad when you say it. Like, yeah. so it's like. Yeah, some people long for it. Some people are like, oh, I want to settle down. Like, yeah. I want, you know, and then but, other I mean, people like me, I heard that term for so long. And I was like, what the yeah, fuck do like, you mean? Like, I just don't like the word What the fuck do you mean? I was like, hey. A lot of words, like, in the, I forgot what they call it, but it's just certain words that they have in the vocabulary that is meant to like you know how you speak words of affirmation but yeah. they're not really yeah. affirming nothing yeah. because the words that they're doing is kind of like backwards but you right. don't really realize yeah. you know yeah. and stuff so yeah yeah but I mean what was that? But I totally feel you but what is the actual definition of settle isn't just to like kind of like, like fucking question. yeah to like Maybe. twang Balance. your roots pretty much essentially yeah. and that's and that's kind of what so I was trying to get at like yeah. It depends how you look at it. Like, if you mm-hmm. hear, it, like, yeah, if someone says, yeah, I settled, this sounds bad, but, like, in, like, a relationship aspect, that's what you want. Like, you want to find someone that you can settle down with and mm-hmm. fucking relax a little down, bit and fucking go to. through shit and talk through shit together and all that. It's not necessarily, like, uh, well, like, I don't, you know, I might not find anything better. So, so I'm just, this is why I'm, you know, stopping and this is it. It's a matter of... We are still going to elevate together, but yeah. this is the person that I mean, you're I, I went and checked it for you real quick. So, like, the bunch of definitions they have here is resolve or reach an agreement. Um, here we go. Can, uh, complete the admiration or disturbance of... It's it's just a bunch of shit. But, like, pay a but debt, like, in your you instance, know, like, like, you got a girl now, you're happy with her. Do you feel like you're not settling, but it's something, it's someone that you would settle with? You feel me? Yeah, that's right. I use that term. So. <laughs> I still hate it. I still, I life still life refute. Life. Yeah, still like I'm, we're gonna elevate. We're not gonna settle as shit. We're gonna elevate together. But in, like you relate, like as far as like looking for other people and shit. That's that's who you settle with. Um, you could just say like unless, I'm not I mean, looking unless, for anybody and, else. Unless y'all are doing your thing, you know. Unless y'all in an open relationship, that I don't know that all that. But like, nah. well, maybe he just Damn. considers it settling arguments, not settling with someone. There you go. There you go. There it is. I'll settle on an argument. I ain't settling down. Yeah. I'm with someone, and I plan to stay with oh, someone, but I'm not settling with that person. We're elevating. Elevate. I mean, that is the goal, right? You want to find someone you can grow with. Build with, yeah. Someone who's going to fucking, you know. Build with. I mean, because you got to compromise a little, too. You got to fucking. Of course, it always comes with compromise. Nothing going to come 100% your way. Yeah, there is this. Then that's just not healthy. There's, the, there's <laughs> that. I don't know if y'all have seen it. There's this video, like, that's going around. It was like, it's a it's a guy talking and he goes, if uh, I think his name was like Don or something. Don and we'll just say Don, Don. and Erica for the reference, whatever. Mm-hmm. If Don and Erica are are like, if Don's right and Erica's right, Erica's right. If Don's <laughs> wrong and Erica's right, Don's wrong. Mm-hmm. If they're both wrong, Don's wrong. <laughs> like it was basically saying like the guy, you yeah, know, like wrong. the girl is always right, the guy is always wrong. So it was just one of those things. That's so. funny. Some cases, but you know, <laughs> uh, you know I'm, I'm glad you, I'm not, glad you see it as like some cases, but mo- most cases. most women are like, yes, that's that's fact yeah, right there. I mean, like, I know the like the the popular saying is "happy wife, happy life," but mm-hmm. I heard it was I heard from somewhere like "happy spouse, happy house." That's mm-hmm. you know that's the low on I like. So it's, yeah. it's both really. Yeah. Everybody got to be happy. One person can't be happy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, like. If a man's going to cater to me, be my protector, be my provider, my man, I'm going to be that woman, the caterer and everything. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, you're making me happy. I'm making you happy. Whatever you need. You want home-cooked meals. You know what I'm saying? You get massages, whatever, whatever, whatever. The kids taken care of at the end of the day. You know, but I'm still going to have my life, too. You know, we all have our lives. Right. We're doing what we love to do. But we also coming together at the end. And we're building this and giving each other what we need. How do you feel sure. about gender roles? 
Um, I don't know. I feel like we could do whatever. The man can cook. I can cook. I'm not worried about all that shit. Because my son, he's most definitely going to learn how to cook and clean because I'm not yeah, playing that. Yeah, shit. Hey, mm-hmm. that's a good skill to fucking have. I learned mm-hmm. how to cook. You know, I can clean, obviously. But I learned how to cook. And that's something and the that's girls taking gonna me a long way. And the girls going to love you for that. The girls going to love him for that. taking me a long way. So, I definitely sure. uh, I appreciate that shit. <laughs> but, mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, it's like, you know, because we're getting into a, I mean, not getting into, we're in an era of like, you know the gender roles are kind of out the window like you know it's, 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 it's not it's you know what do you genders it, are out it, the window it, right it, now what are you talking about <laughs> people are fucking <laughs> people are fucking wild just so. I'm everything he she me they people spider, are cat, people are dog. wild Shit. people get offended regardless I'm gonna, I can say well, whatever and people yeah, will get offended I mean, like yeah it's just, it's just weird. Uh, At the end of the day, it's men and women. And I've, you have I've, trans. I've said that before. I was like, there's like, two. All right. You, but know, you know, like, I'll get in trouble for whatever. But like, <laughs> ahead, if there's, I, in my, you know, it's in my cool. eyes, there's like, two. You could be mad. There's two fucking, you know, there's two genders here. Because when you have there's a baby. male and there's female. Yeah. It's either going to come out with a dick or a pussy. <laughs> pretty much. Okay. You, it might come out with titties, you know. Sometimes there's some you know, deformities or whatever the case. I ain't may be. saying you know like people can't be gay or whatever. Like yeah. you like what you like. And if you're trans, that but might be transition. <laughs> that's you're not like a woman, like a girl calling themselves a man. Like that's crazy. And for instance, a man <laughs> being like, "Oh, I'm a woman now." It's weird. Okay, what what do you want? Like you want to win every sport you play? Like what the yeah, fuck? Like, like stop <laughs> being soft. Like either you go against weird. other men and you're not that good. Like you being a pussy. Face literally, it. you literally. want to come. Yeah, well, yeah run I mean, in, in that sense, I'm definitely yeah. That's you know. That's but okay. when it comes that's to trans, like up. sports is always like that should never even been a thing. Yeah. The fact that trans are transitioning into sports and shit that's fucking baffling yeah, to me. Just... But you know, like I I get you know people lo- <laughs> people throw that term love is love. Whatever, love just whoever love the mother, fuck you just want. Love your ass, just love, love the penis or the dick. That's all it is. Not, <laughs> not no fucking non-binary. What the fuck is non-binary? I'm sorry. Like I love all my gay, I have gay friends and all that, but all that extra bullshit and a lot of them agree with me, anyways. Because most people do. Most so most bu- most gay people I've talked to or like, you know, come in contact with, like when it comes to trans and like this whole new thing that's going on. They they don't agree with most of the shit that's going on. They're like, I don't understand what the fuck that it's is. Going out of hand, especially teaching we'll it in see schools. How long it lasts because that's what I was just about to say. There was a I don't know if he was ten or twelve years old, but he got in trouble for wearing a shirt to school that said there are only two genders. Yeah, factual. So what is wrong with him? So being he okay with he's two wearing genders, a truth on the shirt, and that's all. Boys walking around trying to get boobs. Yeah. I don't. And get that's it. and that's kind of, and that's where the gray area is. Is that people want to get mad for certain things because they want to speak their fucking they want to speak their mind. But when then somebody else speaks their mind and it's not what they agree with, then they get all upset and shit. It's like, well, you can't have it fucking both. Emotional damage. Yeah. Can't have it, can't get it too. <laughs> like, Emotional like, damage. Like if you're gonna be, that's, if you want people to switch. speak their mind, let people speak their mind regardless of what they're speaking. Like obviously, like you know, if it's you're talking speech. about fucking, hurting right. you know, people hate speech like is that, different. But like but free like, speech is yeah. a is a thing. There's, like there's us a saying this is not, you know, we're not hurting anyone. We're not trying to put anyone down. We're just simply saying the fucking facts here. If you have a dick, you are a man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't give a fuck what you think you are. You mm-hmm. are a man. If you have a vagina, you are a woman. You are not a man. You will never be a man. They cut and that like, shit off though. And fucking they, they cut, they'll cut a fucking, they'll cut a <laughs> guy's you, dick off and call him a fucking, woman. Nah, like he's not the, a woman. He's know, just like a bitch. The fucking process Simple. that like they do, like they fucking. I don't. They take like, like estrogen fucking, and shit. Nah, but I'm talking about like making oh, a dick into, into a, a vagina. vagina bro. Yeah, they literally they like cut your dick in half like a hot dog and like just push it inside of you. That's and make an artificial vagina. Technically, there's more penis in your penis that you can. Yeah. You know, possess <laughs> whatever the hey, fuck that shit. is. <laughs> I couldn't imagine either that, way. Like, that whole process you, is painful. You know what's some shit? There's Google more is- in in the world. I mean, I can Google this real quick. I'm pretty positive there is. There's more women in the world than men. Anyways. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, there is. So then the fact that all these and I'm a, you know, call a bird, a, call a spade a spade. All these men that want to be women, you know, be that's no just that's just helping this cause of like what do they want to do you know lower population that's fine they can because there's not going to be enough men yeah, for the fucking all these it's, women it's 98 males per 100 females that's not too that's bad. bad and not only that like uh i don't know the gen z's they're not you know they're not motivated to have children yeah i mean some people aren't like i mean there's even people who aren't gen z like people like us for instance 
we're kind of worried, like, what the fuck kind of life are we going to bring I mean, a kid this, into? Like, we're like, this world's fucked one. up. I, I want children. Exactly, yes. but the Gen Zs don't care. They'll True. still have a child not even caring about their future. Mm. They nah, only care about, yeah. you know. Nah, I care about, like, my ki- my future kids and, like, their future. I definitely want to have children. Mm-hmm. I want to have multiple children, honestly. But I'm just like, what kind of fucking world am I going to bring them into? Like, this yeah. shit's and, and, wild and that's out the, here. That's usually the biggest... Um, it's just gonna get worse. Yeah. That's it the is. biggest complaint, or like the biggest worry of most people that don't want to have kids. It's like, what am I bringing my kid into? Like, this. I mean, it is fucking. It's wild. Like, it is fucking. Like, with everything. Like, we were just talking about like people's opinions, people's disagreement with your opinions. People want to talk. People don't want you to fucking talk. Like mm-hmm. all that shit. Like, it's just a whole bunch of fucking contradiction. It's like, what am I gonna bring this kid into? Like, but also too, I feel like it's how you bring a kid up. Like. Mm-hmm. Your kid doesn't really have to see all this. It's people who live plenty simple lives, you yeah. know, mm-hmm. in other places and just kind of leave that out of it, you know? Well, even, I mean, going off that, they might see it, but it's what values you bestow yeah. on them. Exactly. Like, and how you're teaching is. your kid. Exactly. And I've made this point before, and, like, some people, you know, had their opinion about it, but your kid is your kid. Mm-hmm. You have every right to teach them how you want to teach them. Mm-hmm. And where I think is like, fucked up is, like, the, gov- the government shouldn't be involved in shit. You're not going to tell me how I'm going to raise my kid. Literally. You didn't have this fucking kid. Exactly. I did. So it's like, the well, thing with granted, that, I don't have kids, but the day I do, <laughs> I'm going to be like, fuck that. Like, you ain't telling me shit. The like, thing is, though, with the government. You don't pay for though, them. I, mean, I do. Just like with any other, I mean, I don't know how much. I, I'm, I, I like history and shit like that. Like, I'm a big history person. Like, all that all shit. Social security is something, though. Like, I've seen different things. Social security is basically your first credit card. Essentially, <laughs> it, it's something like they have. It's so crazy. Technically, the, you don't have to have a social security. Yeah. Well, technically, I'm saying that number they give you your social security, you can pull money out of that yeah. from the day you're fucking bored. That's that, that's basically credit that they're giving you for when you get old. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And we're never gonna see it when we're old. We're not because there's gonna, not gonna. It's all gonna be anymore. taken. There's gonna but, yeah, it's gonna be something else. But, but there's the like sti- old, there's, there's like stipulations else. and shit where in reality social security was set up to that was like the first bank account that you own is your your own name is your own bank account mm-hmm. type shit like your social security it's shit on instagram you know mm-hmm. down the rabbit hole <laughs> fucking conspiracy ain't, got, thing. ain't gonna go into all that i feel like the social securities was like what they used to have back in the day when a title and a deed to land yeah i feel like that's the your social security but i mean the thing is though like what i what i was about to say is that like one shit but so we got really interrupted. Real shit. Real shit. Honestly. But, um, but we back, though. Fuck. I think y'all were talking about. Uh, Yo, get us back on track. Transgender people. <laughs> I think it was something after that. I think it was more about kids. It was like the government basically telling you. Yeah. We're talking about like the government can't tell you how to. You know, basically govern your kids. Oh, like, yeah. That's what I'm about to say. Like, yeah. once people start fucking. Once, like. A country or whatever starts getting too powerful, this shit always fucking happens. There's too many people to try and take, like, to pick and control over. Like, it starts getting harder. Like, like, and like as a country, we're just like still very fucking young. We're only like 300 years old. Like, most of these other countries in Europe and Asia are fucking thousands of years fucking established and shit like that. So mm-hmm. like, and they've been through their fucking ups and downs, like That's shitty sad. economies, fucking the peak of their powers and all that shit. Now we're just going through ours as a country. It's so, you know. Now it's our time to fucking struggle, go through some growing pain, shit like that, and hopefully we get through it. But you know, history no. will World say War that III. you know, yeah, we're, we're gonna we're gonna it might get a little worse before it gets better, but you yeah. know, hopefully not. Fingers crossed. Uh. Fingers crossed. Nah, I'm, I'm going out the country. I'm out of here. I mean, you're bilingual. Shit, you got you Trilingual. got your you, trilingual. You got your three options. of them things. Trilingual. You got <laughs> options. Yeah, got uh, options, baby. Shit. Yes, sir. It's a beautiful thing to have options. Isn't it? If you could live anywhere <laughs> in the world, where would you live? If like the money was good wherever you went, and like I mean, you know you I were doing your thing regardless, where would you want to live? I haven't been everywhere that I wanted to been. I want, I've wanted to go, so that's pretty hard because you know I want to. What's go, on your bucket list, then? I want to go to Japan. I want to go to Bali. I want to go to Thailand. I want to go to I Europe. All of Europe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I want to. I want to definitely do another everywhere. Europe trip. Africa. I would live in Japan. For real? Mm-hmm. I would say I would, I've but I've never been, been there, there so I can't I say that. I've never been there, but 
I've kind of never really been to a lot of places, but <laughs> I have a friend who's out Bucket. there. I don't know, but I've watched a lot of YouTube videos. I even watched a YouTube video of a girl who um, was from here and moved there. Yes. Okay. And I get it, but it's just like, I don't know why I love their culture. A lot of stuff is pretty cool. Their aesthetics are nice and stuff, but it's funny because I have a friend who's actually over there. And I was like, oh my gosh, I want to go. She said, prepare to eat a lot of ramen. I said, okay. I like ramen. Like, imagine eating ramen every day and you're just like, damn, I'm smelling shit. But I want a fucking steak. Ramen. Yeah, I'll be like, what the <laughs> fuck? Ramen and everything. Oh, I don't shit. know if I can do that. But, but I want to go for sure. That's most definitely on that my bitch. bucket list. <laughs> I mean, oh, I guess right. I'd be in like phenomenal shape. But you just ate ramen all the time? Yeah. I feel like it's a lot of fucking carbs there, buddy. Yeah, but I feel like I would never eat enough to and fill water, me. And water. It's yeah. basically water. I feel like I would never eat enough to fill me, though. So I'd be like always hungry. Uh, so I'd be cut the, the fuck out. Yeah, At least that's the, how I feel. That's the fucking hope, right? Or crickets or leaves. That, yeah, fuck all that cricket shit. I'm not eating any type of bugs. I'll eat some salad. There. Puss. Fuck it. You eat a cricket? You said you said you fried. crickets in your salad? No, I said I'll oh. eat some salad because like you said grass. Crickets. Some crickets. Hey, oh, no. breaded leg. crickets? Okay. You get the legs stuck in your teeth and shit. <laughs> just sticking out. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Fuck all that. I don't know. There is like it is weird how the countries like their fucking delicacies are like bugs and. You will have to trick me. <laughs> For real? I got, I got, I got, some chicken. Oh, this is yeah, I, 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 I got, I got no. tricked like that. Yeah. Looks like, I got tricked in eating some frog legs. Uh, they look, look like, like chicken wings. legs. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. They do look like just like a chicken like wing. Does it taste like? Or chicken, not a wing, like a chicken drumstick type does shit. It taste like it though? Fuck no, it doesn't. <laughs> it was shit. squid. For the, me. the first bite I took, I knew I was calamari like, this is not, bad, not though. chicken. I'll eat some calamari. Like if I got I something to do. This is this is a kid with a child's palate. Oh, shut up! I just don't like seafood. That's the only thing I don't like. I love seafood. I'm not a fan of seafood. Anything else, I'll eat. I'll try it. I'll give it a try. But like seafood and just certain things, like I just know I don't like. Like I'm a textured type of person. Huh? Lobster. No, I mean, I, I'll say this: it. I haven't had <laughs> lobster and seafood in like in a long Wait, time. Seafood, so sorry, not lobster. Lobster tail. No, well, lobster, I haven't had seafood in a while. In general is great. I haven't had seafood is, in a while, so like maybe my taste buds have changed and shit lobster like that. But like so even exactly. just like, that's but even like smelling about. it sometimes, I just like, uh, no, not I don't. I'm good. I don't See, he needs a good surf and turf. Hey, he he goes on a cruise. I do fuck with some steak though. Orders a surf and turf. He gets a steak and a lobster, and he'd be like, you gotta go to the island. She did take that shit right out the motherfucking ocean. Fresh as hell. Put it in the grill with some fries and some plátano, man. Maybe. Like I said, I, I guess at this point in my life, like, Same. I would sure. be down to try it again just because it's been so long. But, yeah, you like, I think sure. it's like every seven years or some shit, your like taste buds change. But, like, again, it just, oh, like, yeah. it don't really, like, it's not like I'm like, oh, damn, I really want to, like, I really want some seafood right taste now. Like, until you taste it again. Yeah. And then you'll yeah, be like, fuck. I might never go back. Sure. Fuck. Honestly. <laughs> what, if, what if you just start <laughs> eating nothing but sushi and fucking seafood? Fuck. That'd be wild. That would be a crazy time. We'll never know. We'll never like, know. Holy shit! We'll never know. I don't know how much stuff I done squinched up my face for her eating, and I done tried it and been like, mm. sometimes it's no, <laughs> but sometimes I'd be like, dang, I really like that. You, you just were right. You were right. Yeah. <laughs> just like her. Sometimes she'd be eating. I'd be like, what the fuck? Uh, like I'm picky, but we're like we're like different pickies. It's like weird. So it's kind of, it kind of clashes, but not a lot. Of, not a lot. Though. Polar opposites over here. But this guy picky. Like, I, like. oh, I wouldn't even say I'm picky. I just know what I like. I know what I like. Oh, <laughs> see, I, see, I grew up different. For instance, my dad was born in Cuba, came here. Like I was forced to eat everything. Okay. Yeah. Anything that's put in front of you, shit, you right? better fucking eat. Yeah. So yeah. like, I grew up that way. So like, anything that is in front of me, I literally will eat. There's a couple of things I don't like, but it's very few. I mean, it's like. Three things that I can think of: pickles, olives. Pickles, yeah. Uh, olives. Those shits, either pickles or olives. I'm like, Ugh. and I don't even know. I don't even know, don't even know if there's a third thing, honestly. Yeah, it was the it's same way for me. You, whatever you put in front of you, you eat, but not yeah. for nothing. But I didn't like. I would try to get rid of it. Me too. I used to oh. take like the peas, like you know the green peas. Yeah. I used to pretend I was eating them, and then. Like, drink all my juice and put the peas in the cup. <laughs> so I would pretend I was Damn. drinking, but I'm putting the peas That's in the cup. That's kind of creative. <laughs> you, start hey, you gotta learn new ways to trick him. Still talking about my sister's uh, Damn. Or have, or have a napkin or have something. Like, I remember I had a little M&M pops too. Certain shit you don't like. Just put a little M&M case or a little candy. Yeah, a little fucking tube. 
Yeah, no, I got to a certain point. I'm just peas. like, I ate the fuck out of some bees. I was like, fuck it. Depends. No. It's just it's green peas. I didn't really like, oh, mushrooms. That's the third thing. Mushrooms, I didn't like. yeah. I didn't really, That's the texture I didn't, thing. I didn't really like mushrooms. Sauteed mushrooms, like if it's at like Kobe's, like mm. I, or like in the soup. Oh, you did. Okay. I ain't gonna take this shit I'm out. I'm so sorry. I went to Kobe's for the first time. What's so good about it? The amount of food. <laughs> I mean, like, it's more of like an experience thing. Honestly, than I don't the even amount of food. feel like the experience was even the experience. The experience ain't all that. It is the Thank amount of food. You. Like, I, I just like that. Like, I just liked how much I like that type of Grand, food. It was expensive, though. though. It was a lot of That's food. What I'm saying. I'm you get leftovers. Mm-hmm. But, like, Kobe's. It's because you like that type of food, too. Because I like the sushi yeah. over there. No, I like, like, you know I like Kobe's. No, 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 I, I love that type of food. Like, some rice. You put me some steak on there, bitch. Just some shrimp. Give me a triple platter. The noodles, the rice, the steak, the chicken. All right, that's what I ordered, steak and chicken. So yeah. and then I, I'm like always, like when they're banking it for the table and like passing out extra portions, I'm like, hey, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my guy. Come this way. <laughs> Have you ever heard of Sakura Japan? Sakura Japan? Sa- Sa- Sakura? Sakura Japan. Sakura Japan. Sakura Japan. Sakura no. Japan. Sakura. Or Saki Japan. Saki. Mm-hmm. I heard it like Saki. Like Isn't that like a drink? That's like that alcohol? That is like so like top tier level of Kobe's. But mm-hmm. it's just a regular, a regular like mall. I mean, they just, uh, they just at this it's point, they so have like I mean, the, we, the name instance, recognition. There's a, there's and all a place, yeah. there's there's a place in the Oviedo Mall that's called for, Sakuru Chicken. Sak- or uh, I mean, fucking Oishi. Oishi is that shit, but I'm yeah. talking about inside. Yeah, but is that's Oishi yeah, the but that's went to with the Doritos on top of it. Oh no, no, no. that's <laughs> that's that's too high. Yeah, that's high. Too high. That shit good. That's some good sushi places by y'all. She knows the places I don't. Sushi. Right, well, uh, shit, I, love, I haven't had sushi in so long. Yeah. Yeah. I want me some good sushi. Sushi katana, you had to get the lobster roll. The lobster Ooh. bomb roll. <laughs> it's $22, but it's worth don't it. Don't give a fuck. It's, it's worth it. I'm, Food is something like I have no... Uh, no problem spending. Yeah, yeah, I have no room. Like, I mean, fuck, that's eat. how we live. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I've wasted so much money on food. I probably... I don't even want to know how much money. money. Goes on yeah, food. Major- most. I'm talking like 80%. damn near 80% of my fucking paycheck is on food. 80%. That shit's crazy. <laughs> that shit's funny. Uh, I don't pay bills. Fuck it. I'll pay the bills later. I've got to make sure I eat. Right, right. You can't pay like bills if you're not alive. Yeah, exactly. You know I got to eat first. <laughs> shit, gonna pay this bill or, or eat. Shit, I'm gonna use the fifty dollars to eat. Exactly. Oh well, shit, you can that's make yourself live, a That's how I live my life. Find some boxes on the side of the road. Fuck, you get to go. Exactly. I, I, yeah. As long as I eat. As long as I have a full belly. As long as my belly bed, full, I'll, I'll sleep under the stars. <laughs> Don't care. Be magical. I'm a sandwich picky eater, so I don't care how much it, much it costs. If it looks unappealing or like I wouldn't like it, I wouldn't eat it. I'm not. See, like the look thing, I, I, smell I don't it. know. I still. Me too. I, I get that too. I look at it, I smell it, but I'm, I'm still going to fucking eat it. Like anything uh, that's put in front of me, I'm going to at least try. I'll take a bite. I'm going to at least try it. I'll return that plate. Yeah, right, I was right. starving. Here's the ultimate question for y'all because I do this shit. All right. When you heat up your food, for instance, from. No, you know what I'm about to say. In a microwave, like if you ever no, if you ever heat up your food in a microwave, like when you pull it out the microwave. Oh yeah, you're fucking. (laughs) Like when you pull your food out the microwave, if it's still cold, you're gonna put it back in the microwave, right? Yes. Of course. Okay, yeah. That's, dude, that's fucking that, savage. Dude, that's how y'all are. Just eating this shit cold. Like, if, I shit, if I put it in the microwave for like a minute, two minutes, and it comes out cold still, I'm fucking eating it. Like, I don't no. care. I, I, ain't the it, I ain't putting it back in the microwave. Are you afraid of the radiation? Or <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just <laughs> too like, lazy to put it back in the microwave. He's just hungry as fuck. He's just hungry as fuck. Simple as that. Like, I'm like, nah. There's no fucking logic behind this shit. Nah, I'm just like, man, I already sat down. Like, I'm already comfy. I'm like, fuck that. I just started I need my shit to be thoroughly. Like, that's why whatever I'm eating is either going to be in the air fryer or it's going to go in the oven. I'm going to cook it on the stove. Oh, yeah, and yeah. That's how I mean, I am. I mean, in the pan, if the food is hot in and the I pan, mix it around good enough and it balances out. It depends on what it is, though. Yeah, you can't just I'm make not everything. Gonna, yeah. I'll eat it, but yeah. if it's like, I mean, if it's yeah, cold, it's cold, cold, like I mean, <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! All right, well, we back on it. We live. We live. We back, but yeah. All right, I mean, so yeah, we'll take this shot together. I mean, this is more than a shot. Do I gotta <laughs> finish mine? Oh, no, you just cheers it, bitch. This is the end of the podcast with Marty Mars. Boom. Boom. Hopefully we have more of them. You know, whenever you want to come on, you're more than welcome. Um, and yeah, this was a good time. I mean, we had some technical difficulties along the way, but you know, I yeah. feel like for the most part, we had some pretty good conversation. We talked yeah. about a wide range of things. Our audience got to know you a little bit better, mm-hmm. so that's always good. We got to good. know you a little bit better. That too, so... Um, 
Yeah, I mean, anything else that you want to say before we before we sign off? Any shout outs? Anything like that? Plug well, yourself up. I hope you guys enjoyed the interview with me, Marty Mars, and I hope you guys enjoyed my homegirl Samira. If you guys haven't followed me or caught call my Instagram in the beginning, it is the official Mars with two Z's. Again, two them things. Yes, God with damn, two sorry. Z's. So don't forget <laughs> like, that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Click the link in the bio. You can. <laughs> You know, listen to all my music on YouTube, Spotify, whatever you got, you know, so Word hope y'all fuck with me, platforms. fuck with the podcast, share this, you know what I'm saying? And hey, keep on supporting us because that's what we're all we're asking for. Support you know? the local artists. Hey, <laughs> is it my turn? Yeah, it's okay. your turn. Well, I just want to say that make sure you follow the official Mars with two Z's. Two. Okay. Two Z's. Two um, I'm pretty shy a little bit, so maybe a couple <laughs> other times, you know, I'll kind of get into my little zone. Yeah, um, you can also follow me on Sam's G Spot. Bye, Al. Bye, Al. Jacob, you got anything else you want to add before uh, we, we get out of here? Well, oh, uh, follow the Hangover. Oh yeah, don't forget no, that. Yeah, if you don't podcast. follow us already, show so love. Follow us. Subscribe to hit both that YouTube link, channels. Hit that subscribe button. Period. Boom. Okay. Oh. Don't motherfucking play. Yeah. Hey. You know where to find us. We're on. I mean, we're on. Hit that thumbs up. Plethora of platforms. Plethora. Yeah, we got. Uh, well, we got YouTube. We got Apple Podcasts. Apple Podcasts. Spotify, Anchor. Anchor. Mm-hmm. Subscribe to all those things. Comment. Rate. Leave we're on feedback. Instagram. We're on TikTok. Don't talk shit. no shit though, because I'll come right for you in the comments. Hey, you oh, heard yeah. it. You heard it like like first. <laughs> Just so you guys know, Marty Mars is on SoundCloud, Apple, Spotify, and she. Music also, everything. it's on Instagram. Okay. Oh, yeah, shit, on everything. Find me wherever. Yeah. Just well, follow me. I promise you like my music. Yeah. You will. She's got a... She's trilingual. Try. <laughs> trilingual. Not bye. Try it. Try. <laughs> she says try it, motherfucker. <laughs> and yeah. So with that, thank you guys for coming on. Like I said, hopefully we have you guys on. Um... Like the episode, comment, rate, all that good shit. Make sure you listen to her music. Run those, run that shit up. And as always, everybody love everybody. And we'll see y'all next week. Peace, Peace out. Deuces. No hangover. Hey. Ooh, 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 yeah, yeah. Man. <laughs> <laughs> You know I love it when you hit it from behind Put that bend up in my spine With your hand around my throat, I love that stroke Every time you put it on me, got me going crazy Thinking maybe this could work, you can be my main squeeze You know I'm nasty and a freak, but you like that I ain't worried about a thing, you always coming back Pussy tight, pussy clean, and for breed In the bedroom, yeah, we doing nicely